Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to eat and work out exactly like Kim Kardashian. So Kim Kardashian is kind of looked at as having the perfect body. Like so many women try to emulate her look that it's kind of become this new ideal of beauty. Like so many women strive to have a Kim Kardashian body, which first of all is messed up because you will never have anyone else's body. You will only ever have your own body. The only person with a Kim Kardashian body is Kim Kardashian. But second, because Kim Kardashian's look is not at all effortless, despite what the media would like you to believe, and it's definitely not attainable for the average person. She has a lot of resources that we don't. Like an entire team of people just dedicated to making sure she looks perfect. Personal trainers, private chefs, nutritionists, makeup artists, plastic surgeons. And I don't have that whole team of people, but I do try my best as a normal person to live a pretty healthy lifestyle. I usually work out like around four times a week, usually three times a week in the gym. And then one extra day I do something fun. I go on a hike. I go to a spin class. For breakfast, I usually make a smoothie or a protein shake on my own. For lunch, I usually make like green beans or some sort of vegetable with rice. Usually it's whatever quick thing I can like throw in my crock pot because I do not have a lot of time to cook. And then for dinner, Steven and I just usually cook whatever we have. Sometimes it's pasta, a cauliflower pizza, a recipe from a meal box since we have a subscription to one of those, or we get takeout. I do eat a lot of veggie grill. So being that I try to lead a healthy lifestyle, but I am a normal person, I thought it would be interesting to switch to the bougie Kim Kardashian healthy lifestyle for a day and see what it feels like to eat and work out like her. So I found two articles that detailed Kim Kardashian like exact diet and exercise routine. So we're gonna be following that for the day. And then I also booked a personal trainer to run me through Kim's workout and a personal chef to come to my house and cook me all of the meals that Kim laid out in that article as well. So I'm gonna go to sleep. It is the night before all the fun begins. And according to this article, Kim wakes up at 6 a.m. every day to start her workout. So see you then, 6 a.m. Good morning. It is 5.50 a.m. I do not wake up this early. <laughs> oh, I usually wake up at like 8.30, so this is early. I went to bed at like midnight. I look like a hot mess, but it's 5 a.m. Well, 6 a.m. Okay, time to get ready and hit the gym. <sighs> oh, so... Kim wakes up six days a week at 6 a.m. to do a 90 minute workout with her personal trainer and I will be doing the same. Also, she drinks four and a half liters of water a day and I measured it out because I, hold on, which I drink from this like venti refillable Starbucks cup. Like that's just what I put all my water into because it like tricks me into thinking I'm drinking Starbucks. So I did the math and I need to drink 18 of these today. Yeah, okay, we're gonna find out later that I definitely did do this math wrong. So just enjoy watching me suffer trying to drink 18 venti cups of water because I definitely did not have to do that. So I better go get started on that, but also let me show you my outfit. All right, I am all dressed and ready for the gym. I'm wearing this cute little set from Fabletics, which is actually the sponsor of this video. So shouts out to Fabletics. Fabletics creates really trendy and high quality clothes for all kinds of physical activity. Personally, when I'm working out, I wanna feel like supported and confident and comfortable moving around in all kinds of different ways. And Fabletics checks all of those boxes for me. I know I can go into a workout out feeling motivated and ready to move and sweat. So the way Fabletics works is you take a style quiz for personalized outfit recommendations, and then you get to shop from thousands of styles curated for you, and you can check out as a guest or become a VIP. And when you join the Fabletics VIP program, you get some really great perks like free shipping and up to 50% off regular prices. So on the bottom, I've got the high-waisted 7 8 mesh power hold. These are like my current favorite leggings. And then this is the Lena 
high impact sports bra. Definitely gonna need that high impact for today with all the weight training and the jumping and we, we gotta hold it all in. So this sports bra does the job. And then I have this shirt. This is the Cashel Crop Swing Tank. It matches the little detail on the bottom too, which is fun. Luckily Fabletics is super affordable. So unlike all of the other things I have to do for this video, I did not have to spend an arm and a leg on my workout outfits, but I look super, super cute. So Fabletics gave me a deal for you guys. If you sign up with my link in the description, you can get two pairs of Fabletics leggings for only $24. Seriously, that's like half the price of any other brand that you would find. Actually like more than half the price. Like a pair of Lululemon leggings is like $90. And these, you can get two for 24. And they're amazing. They hold it all in. They're squat proof. I love it. So I also have this little two, well no, three piece outfit. Just flash you guys real quick. <laughs> these are the Mila Pocket Capris. They're not the power hold, which I always thought were gonna be like my, my fave fave. But these fit like very similar to the power hold. They have that like same hold, if you know what I'm saying. And they have a pocket on the side. So I do, I do like that from a phone. Then I have the Amethyst Seamless Sports Bra. This one is like medium impact, but sometimes that's enough for me. It just depends on the workout. And then I have the same Cashel Swing Tank, but this is in white. I don't know. Which outfit? Let me know down in the comments which one you guys like more. I think I'm gonna go, oh, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I think my videographer just got here, so let's head to the gym. All right, first one of these down, 18, no, 17 more to go. And my videographer, Erwin, just got here, so he's gonna come with me to film the workout. And actually, the chef is gonna be here really soon. So I'm gonna get her set up in the kitchen and then go to my workout like Kim Kardashian would, come home to a nice breakfast all cooked for me. Usually, I just make like a protein shake for breakfast because. I do not have time to make a full spread. I mean, I would like to. It's not that I don't like breakfast. It's that I just don't have time. So it's gonna be nice to have someone just preparing it all for me while I'm gone. Kim Kardashian, according to this article I found, she always has blueberry oatmeal pancakes for breakfast. So that is what the chef is gonna be making me. I'm excited to meet the chef. Her name is Jen. I posted this picture of me on Instagram yesterday and said I was looking like a snack. And then she commented, was like, can't wait to make you those snacks tomorrow. <laughs> so she seems like a cool person. I'm excited. Oh, all right, I think that's her. Hi, Jen, come on in. This is so cool. I feel like a rich person. <laughs> Just kidding, a rich person wouldn't help with the groceries. <laughs> okay, maybe a rich person would help with the groceries, but I don't think Kim Kardashian would. All right, so this is Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi. So I am about to head off to the gym to do my workout, and Jen is going to make some blueberry oatmeal pancakes. I am. So I will see you in an hour and a half. Perfect. And I'm gonna be excited to eat. It's so weird to like be able to eat and not cook it, but then also not like go to takeout. Ah, like, no, this is gonna be even better because you're gonna walk in the door and it's gonna smell like food, uh, but you're gonna be home. And I don't have to cook it or no. clean it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow, to be Kim Kardashian. <laughs> will you be home for dinner tonight? I will, why? Six, don't worry about it. Why? Just don't worry about it. I have to, I'm gonna have dinner for us. Who's in the kitchen? Don't worry about it. Have a good day at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Water number two before we go to the gym. All right, put on my little jacket, also from Fabletics. This is the Ava Bomber jacket. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go just sports bra or just shirt. I think it kind of depends on the exercises I'm doing, but I'm ready. Got my water on number two. Let's go. Okay, so I found in that video that Kim's workout routine is 85% like strength and weights and then 15% cardio, which I'm excited about because I don't really like cardio. I mostly do like weight training. So this is like more similar to my workout routine. And then also this article broke down some of the exercises she posted her doing on Snapchat. So I sent them to the trainer and she's gonna incorporate those into the workout. I'm excited. I love working with trainers. I feel like it's so much easier to do a workout because I'm like, I can't quit. Someone is watching me do it. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go get started. I'm excited. Much what we're gonna do is I just I looked into some more of the workouts, but that that list that you sent me. Cool. Do a little bit of those, but also just like back and forth, keeping our heart rate high. Awesome. Yeah. So Kim doesn't eat anything before her workouts. I've never really worked out on an empty stomach. I usually drink my protein shake like on my way to the gym. So I feel like weird. I don't know. It's not like I feel a little bit shaky, but more than anything, it just feels different. I don't know how she does it, but we'll see how I. <laughs> How I last through the whole workout with nothing, nothing on my tank.
one. Yeah, no, I feel good. I was, I mean, I should have known, but I was surprised at how leg heavy and butt heavy it was, obviously. Definitely. like It's like leg, butt, core, and then like every once in a while they'll like kind of do a little bit of upper body. Like. Oh man, that kicked my butt, but in like the best way. Like I feel like I got a good workout, but I don't feel like I'm gonna die. Which honestly, I kind of expected to feel like I was gonna die because it's a Kim Kardashian workout and it was 90 minutes and that's a lot for me. But I think I did pretty good. I kept up a little bit. We had to modify some of the reps, but most everything I did to the T. It was very, very legs and glute heavy, which I should have expected for Kim Kardashian, but I didn't like working out on an empty stomach. I felt so shaky, especially when I was like, holding the planks and stuff. I just felt like I, I didn't have as much strength as I usually do when I eat before I work out. But that being said, I am excited to go home and have a full meal waiting for me. Let's go. It's the best part of this video. I have a freaking chef cooking for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, so what you have are some oatmeal pancakes. Okay. They have a little bit of orange zest in them as well as fresh blueberries topped with toasted almonds. And then underneath is a honey vanilla yogurt and some fresh maple syrup. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, You're Jen. Welcome. Enjoy. Thank Enjoy. you. Your smile in the kitchen. Oh my, I already have like the biggest smile on my face ever. This is the best video I do. Yeah. First of all, the entire house smells amazing. Second of all, this looks amazing. Third of all, I'm starving. I'm gonna try a little bit with the yogurt before I try the maple syrup. Mm. Oh my gosh, Jen. <laughs> oh, all right, I finished my breakfast. I am on water number three. Those pancakes were so good. I just feel like I always skip on breakfast because my mornings are usually when I'm the most busy, especially if I'm trying to fit in a morning workout, like making a legit breakfast. It, it's just not gonna happen. So just coming home, smelling it, eating it, not having to do anything, that was awesome. So I'm gonna go get showered and get dressed for the day and then get started on some work. And then Jen will just let me know when it's lunchtime. I'm, I'm gonna do my best to try to drink as much water as I can in the time being. 18 of these cups seemed like a lot in the morning, but in practice, it's actually like so much more. Like 18 times I have to fill this up. That's, that's a lot. Oh, all right, I am freshly showered, nice full tummy of oatmeal pancakes. I feel really, really great after that workout. It was definitely hard and I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. Like I think that workout was harder than what I normally do at the gym, but it wasn't too hard. And I think that's the important thing is like, there wasn't anything that like made me feel terrible or like I didn't push my body too hard. It was the perfect amount of push. So I just showered and got dressed, sticking with the athleisure look for the video. So in Fabletics. So this is the Mara S top. And then again, of course, I've got the 7 8 power hold leggings. These are the solid ones. So they're just like black all the way through. And oh, I just, I love, I'm obsessed. All right, it is noon. I'm gonna go downstairs and fill up to get to number four, but I'm actually getting really hungry. I feel like that breakfast was super filling, but it didn't last that long, if that makes sense. So I'm excited to get some lunch in me. According to this article, Kim K's lunch consists of Chicken, sweet potato, and vegetables. Now you guys know I'm a vegetarian. So I talked to Chef Jen and she is going to make a vegetarian alternative that still gets kind of that like same idea. Obviously we're still gonna have the sweet potato and the vegetable and then just some sort of veggie protein for the chicken. So I'm excited. I love anything sweet potato. I guess Kim Kardashian and I have that in common. I feel like it's delicious. It's filling, it's good for you. It just tastes good with anything. And I have like one way that I always make my sweet potato, so I'm excited to try it a different way that Chef Jen is gonna make. So uh, yeah, I've just got about 30 minutes until lunchtime. So I'm gonna fill up my water and hopefully finish this before it's lunchtime and hopefully I can hold out because I am getting pretty hungry. Okay, it is lunchtime. I'm so excited. Oh, all I know is it's some sort of vegetable, sweet potato, 
medley. Hello, Chef Chen. Hello. I'm very excited. Okay, let me put my camera down because Erwin's filming. What we have is a saute of sweet potatoes, uh, colored carrots, peppers. <laughs> There's a little bit of cotija or fresh uh, queso fresco, a little kale salad, and some fresh edible flowers. Oh, and micro cilantro. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this looks and smells unreal. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. There's a smoked paprika in there, there's a little bit of chili powder in there, so it's layers of lots and lots of flavors. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, last bite. This was so good. Mm. So Kim K's diet, the food. When a personal chef is preparing it, easiest thing in the world. It's yummy, it's healthy, but it's still filling. I was worried that it was gonna be like not enough and I was gonna be hungry, but I haven't really been too hungry. I feel like breakfast was good and, and filling, lunch was amazing. The only thing is I don't know the size of Kim's portions, you know? So like, I have no idea how much she's eating, but I just ate as much as the chef gave me on my plate. I, I did a little bit of the extra sweet potatoes because they were so good, but I feel like it's been plenty of food. I feel good, I feel full, but I don't feel bloated. I feel full of water. Water, though. I guess that's like the definition of bloated though is being full of water, which is exactly what I am. I, when I was planning this video, I was focusing on the workout and the food and the water was just kind of like an addition. And the water has now easily become like A, the weirdest part because it's just so much water and B, the hardest part because like I drink a lot of water. I drink like six to eight of these a day, but 18, that's like three times more water than I drank. This is number four. I'm not letting myself stand up from this gym. <laughs> until I finish it and then I will take number five up to my office and get back to work before Chef Jan makes us dinner. All right, I'm coming downstairs to fill up water number seven. I can't believe I'm not even halfway done with my water intake yet, but uh, Erwin is filming while Chef Jen is working on dinner. So in the article that I found, it said that Kim Kardashian's dinner is usually some sort of fish with vegetables. Now I don't eat fish, so Jen is making a veggie alternative and vegetables to go with it. And Steven's gonna be home at six, so we will get to eat dinner together and he will get to be the Kanye to my Kim. <laughs> Working on water number seven. It is about 4.30 right now, and oh my gosh, I've just been so productive. I feel like A, whenever I work out in the morning, I always feel more productive, and B, not having to worry about any of my meals, but also still eating in a way that makes me feel good and feels my body. That like never happens. I'm either one way or the other. I'm either spending like a lot of time cooking a really, really good dish that makes me feel good, but then, you know, that takes like an hour and a half two hours out of my day to do that for lunch and dinner. Or I'm just making something really quick and you know, half the time it's something healthy and quick and half the time it's something not as healthy and quick. So this is like brand new for me. Like this is so cool. I feel like I I thought the workout was going to be way harder than it was. I mean, it was hard, don't get me wrong. You guys saw how much I was sweating, but it was doable. And I definitely think if I had a trainer every single day, every single morning at my house, I think it would be easier to commit to that and to do that workout every day. I actually did really enjoy the exercises that we did and I feel really good. I am pretty hungry again. It's 4.30. I feel like around this time in between lunch and dinner is usually when I would make myself a little snack, but it didn't have any snacks listed for Kim. So I'm guessing she's just the kind of person who just sticks to meals and eats bigger meals. But I just feel like every time after I've eaten for both breakfast and lunch, I feel satisfied for like an hour or even two hours and then like hunger kicks in. And I'm the kind of person who like, I don't count calories. I just try to listen to my body. So my stomach is grumbling. On a normal day, I would go downstairs and I would like make a snack. But I'm going to wait for the chef to make me my dinner, which should be in about an hour and a half. So uh, until then, I will be snacking on water. If I get too hungry, I will, of course, you know, break this video and eat something. Like, it's never good to restrict your body and not listen to it. Like, on a normal day, like I said, I would go make a snack. But I am going to, I'll see if I can wait. You know, I'm not that hungry. If I get too hungry, I'll eat something. But I'm hoping I can hold it off because I would love to be able to do this day to a T like Kim would.
downstairs. Steven just got home and I think dinner is ready. I think we we're just waiting on him, which is good, cause I'm hungry. <laughs> Hello. You ready to eat? So did I tell you really what I'm filming today? About Kim Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, so there's a chef here, as you saw, Chef Jen, and she's been cooking my meals all day to eat like Kim Kardashian. And I went to the gym and worked out like Kim Kardashian, and I'm trying to drink four and a half liters of water like Kim Kardashian, and it's a struggle, but I'm excited to eat because that's the fun part of this video. You ready? Do it. All right, come on, Kanye. Come on, North. Oh, yes. Well, dinner is being served. Might as well work on a glass of water number eight. Steven, to drink the same amount as Kim Kardashian, I have to drink 18 of these. I don't even know how much she drinks. It said in the article I found, she drinks four and a half liters of water a day, and I did the math because this is 24 milliliters, which means I have to drink 18 of these. So what these are are stuffed peppers. They are stuffed with a mixture of vegetables and tempeh that is actually Ooh. a fake bacon tempeh, so it's really smoky oh. and got all the great flavors. And then on top, it's kind of a sweet and sour a uh, tomato sauce, and then Ooh. there's some toasted almonds and uh, some fresh lemon thyme. Ooh, that looks amazing. This is like the perfect alternative to like the fish and the vegetables because we get the tempeh, which tempeh still is protein, right? Tempeh is, is made from soy, so it's full of protein. Awesome, yes. all right. So you're getting cool. your protein from the nuts and your protein from the tempeh, and you're getting your grains in the tempeh as well, and all of your vegetables. It's kind of a complete mm. meal in, and there's also egg in there, which is gonna give you more protein. Ooh, thank you so much, Jen. It didn't say in the article that they have wine, but uh, we're going to. Cheers, Kanye. <laughs> Let's not say that anymore. <laughs> my dinner, I will wrap up the other things that uh, were hard or were easy or that surprised me for the day. So waking up was hard on its own. Like I got out of bed at 5.50 and I would have like gone straight to the workout, but since we we're filming and everything, I ended up getting to the gym around like 7.15, 7.20. But still, that was like very, very early for me and something I'm definitely not used to. But I loved getting my workout done so early in the day. I loved feeling like productive and like ready to go as soon as I got home, I felt energized. And then also just having breakfast here, like that was like the perfect push that I needed to get started on my day. I actually really liked Kim's workout. I, I love doing legs and glutes, so that was great. Loved all the butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all the butt exercises. I loved the butt exercises. Now, what was hard for me was the core stuff. I don't have a very strong core right now, and I'm working on that. I feel like I mostly focus on my legs because that's what's strongest, so that's what's most fun for me. The core stuff was hard, but uh, we did it. We got through it. Not eating before the workout, though, that like drained me. Like trying to hold on to that like half exercise ball and balance while not having anything in my stomach, I just feel like I was wasn't as solid or as like powerful as I usually am when I work out after eating. And just, I'm still in shock and in disbelief that Kim Kardashian drinks 18 of these every day. There's there's no way, That's that's gotta be fake. But I think the thing that I just really realized through filming this video is that it is so much easier to eat healthy and you know, stick to your workout and push yourself in the gym when there's a team of people around you trying to make sure that that happens. Like going to the gym and not even having to think about what exercises I was gonna do, just having the trainer there and also having her like correct me on my form and lead me through the exercises. It just made it a lot easier than just going to the gym by myself. And then coming home to, you know, food being ready for me and getting to just go up in my office and focus on my work without having to like think about what I'm gonna eat or what's in it or if I need to go to the grocery store. It just made it so much easier. And so I think it's just important for all of us to remember when we look at these celebrities with the quote unquote perfect body, that they have so many resources that we don't. And that doesn't mean that it's not worth still trying to lead a healthy lifestyle that makes you feel good without all of that. Yeah, I feel good today and it was easier today having all of this, but I still feel great when I make my protein shake and my green beans with nutritional yeast and hit the gym on my own. Like it's great having all this stuff. It makes it easier and we shouldn't compare ourselves, but you can still do it on your own. It's harder, but you can do it. 24 fluid ounces. Yeah. So How many fluid ounces in a liter? There's 152 in 4.5. 152 divided by 24. 
So it comes out about. I didn't drink 6.3 of these. I think that's the official. How did I get 18? I know how I got 18, and I'll tell you how. You know because why? I'm an idiot. I did it this way. So this is 24 milliliters, and that there are 100 milliliters in one liter. So in my brain, I needed to drink four and a half times four of these, which is 18. So actually, I had to drink a third of that, which is 6.3. So Kim Kardashian is not a psychopath who drowns herself in water. She's just a normal person drinking a normal amount of water. And I just like to torture myself. Now I wish we never told you so that you could have tried. So that is gonna be my day eating and working out like Kim Kardashian. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a big, big thank you to Fabletics for making it possible. Fabletics really is just great. I'm so excited that they wanted to partner with me on this because I rant and rave to my friends all the time about those power hold leggings. Seriously, if you guys wanna try any of the items or the power hold leggings in particular, cause those are my fave, there is a link in the description. And when you use my link and join the VIP program, you can get two leggings for only $24. And it's great because there's no commitment to purchase monthly. When you join their VIP program, you can always skip a month. It's totally up to you. And they have free shipping on orders over $49 and international shipping is available. So wherever you live in the world, you can try Fabletics. And make sure to use that link so you guys can get my special discount of two pairs of leggings for $24. I've not been disappointed by a single item I ordered from Fabletics. So I'm basically just their hype girl now because I love them so much. And it was super cool that they wanted to sponsor me because I'm already a big fan of them. And then I got to do this cool video, which is one of the cool things about bringing sponsors on because I get to do videos like this that cost a lot more money to produce where I wouldn't really be able to do that if it wasn't for a sponsor. Like I said, it was $700, $525 for the chef, $75 for the groceries, $100 for the personal trainer, not to mention Erwin who was filming for me and my editor, Rachel. And there's just like a whole lot that goes into these videos. So it means a lot to me when sponsors want to team up with me. And when you guys like support the sponsors and love the sponsors too, that is really, really great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time with another new one. Bye.